Okay, so this is the instructional video on how to do the taxes and act chart diagram. So for week six and week seven, we will spend two weeks on talking about the tax and acts that Great Britain put on the 13 colonies after the French and Indian War. So what you're gonna to need to do is as we go over the slides, when I talk about each act, here's the title of all the acts we're gonna talk about. There's the Sugar Act of 1764, there's the Stamp Act of 1765, there's the Declaratory Act of 1767, there's the Quartering Act of 1765, there's the Townsend Act of 1767, and there's the Tea Act of 1773. So as I go over each one of these acts, you're going to need to know how to describe the act. What did it do and what did it tax? And you're gonna need to type what it did or what is it or what it taxed on the yellow box or in the yellow box as we go over it, okay? So again, make sure you type in the yellow box what the act does, what it tax, and what did it create? in the yellow box then in the green box for each act you're going to need to type who did it affect who put it on well great britain it should be all of them and like who did it affect who was involved in the act and when was it passed okay so that's going to be filled out in here then what you need to do on your own is you're gonna go and look for a drawing that represents each of these acts. So, Miss Wynn's gonna do the first picture for you for the Sugar Act. That should be pretty easy because the symbol for this act could actually be in its name, which is Sugar, right? So you're gonna go up here, search the web, Type in sugar, find a picture of sugar. I don't care what picture you choose. I don't know, you can choose this one. Make sure your cursor is in that white box. Drag the sugar over and it'll look. So this picture of sugar represents the Sugar Act, right? Are you gonna put a picture of a car? No, because it does not represent the Sugar Act. A car, has no connection with the Sugar Act, right? The picture has to have a connection to the act or the name of the act, okay? So if you have any questions, you can just email me or leave it on the Padlet.